So St. Petersburg is just up ahead, and it looks like there's only one police station there. The crime rate must be pretty good, or their taxes are just really low and they can't afford more police. What's up, guys? I'm Vortac. Welcome back to Stranded Derps, where I am setting up Mojo's uh, training camp, actually. Uh, she's been asking me for quite some time about getting into Gang Z, and you can't just get into Gang Z. You know what I mean? You you have to you have to be trained and, and accept it. So I've set that up for her. We're gonna work on that a little bit later. But right now I have some quests to worry about that I need to finish up here today. Mojo will be on later, and uh, I think it's gonna be kind of late, so I'm not gonna have time to do that in this video. Which means if you guys want to see uh, what what happens in Mojo's training camp session for Gang Z, I definitely recommend coming back and checking out her video, which should be up at the same time as this one. So that will help. We're going to head to Moscow right now and uh, get this quest done. It's getting the word out. I have to put uh, signs up at each police station. I believe they're to tell everybody that the Liberator is here to help and we can get everybody on the... Uh, everyone who's surviving on the, on the Russia map to safety. All right, so it should just take a little bit of sneaking around. This is the first police station. I haven't been to all the police stations around the map, so I'm not even sure how long. Oh, here we go. How long it's going to take me to uh, find all of these places and, and put them there. Uh, but let's see. So Moscow West and uh, I guess this was Moscow, what, north or east or some other direction. I, I know, I do remember there are two police stations in Moscow. So we're going to keep creeping around the city here. And then there's uh, those two towns that I'm guessing are on the map. I can't pronounce them, but you see them there on the, on the far right. Uh, we're just going to kind of creep through Moscow and get this done. We are kind of getting towards the end here, I believe, of a uh, Fest of Russia. Mojo and I are, are getting cold. We're tired of freezing our butts off, and we are probably going to be moving to uh, warmer climates coming soon. So be be on the lookout for that. Things are going to be shaken up here pretty soon. But Stranded Derps has been a lot of fun. Uh, we, we've learned quite a bit, each of us, about Unturned at this phase in the game. And... Uh, you know, I don't feel very derpy anymore. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident these days. Hmm, I'm still stranded, though. I I mean, I have no... There's no planes. There's really no way of getting out of here, so we're going to have quite a road trip ahead of us. Uh, where is this police station? There's the hospital, and we know the other police station is that way. It's Moscow West. So if I look on the map here, I am definitely on the east side of town. Or the west, this is the west side of town. I always get my east and west mixed, mixed up, mixed up, <laughs> mixed up. So it should be over here, right? Hmm. Looks like our police station is up ahead. I, I went in one big circle for nothing because the other police station is like right back there. So that's a little bit concerning. Why does this town need so many police stations so close together? <laughs> and what about the other side of town? Do they just not get any, uh, uh any public uh, help here from if they're, if they're, you know, getting robbed or murdered? Ah, whatever. Maybe that's why it turned into a zombie town. They couldn't they couldn't hack it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I feel like we... Did I piss off two of them? Yeah, I did. It's a flanker. I'm like, I don't see the other one, but I heard two. Oh, come on. I always have trouble with these. Ugh. These are worse than Megas. I'm telling you right now. Ooh. Take that. Worse than Megas, confirmed. All right. So we did it. I just wanted to check this police station real quick before we head out. Uh, got some more clothes we can shred. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, let me craft up some bandages here. Because we basically need them. And I guess the next logical place to go, unless one of the other two towns are on the way, would be St. Petersburg. Uh, oh, one of the other towns is on the way right here. Well, it's not. It's kind of out of the way. In fact, no, there really is no good way to do this. I think if I go to St. Petersburg first, we'll then cut across down to here, take this highway over to the last town over here. We have a long way ahead, a uh, long road ahead of us. Do I have, a, I have a gas can and it has some fuel in it already. Good. All right. I'm going to fill up the truck, grab some more fuel, and then we're going to head out. Back on the road. Man. So I really hope Mojo does well today in her tests because... I tell you, the commute from the Yukon to getting to Russia is insane. And she wants me to hang out with her in Russia a lot. So I always have to tell the guys in Gang Z, like, hey, I'll be back. 
and I have to make the long journey over, and it's not easy. I have to hit up Craigslist, I have to hire somebody with a, a, a plane and uh, hopefully a pilot's license. A lot of times they just have one or the other, which is weird. And then I barely make it here every time. So having her in, that, in Gang Z would be pretty beneficial, actually. But uh, I'm not holding out much hope because we all know how Mojo is. Uh, but I, I think training camp will do her well. I, I think having that experience will definitely help make it easier transitioning into uh, the big leagues, as they call it. Uh, so we're passing a town right here. I don't think that one's one of the two on the list. Uh, no, definitely not. So St. Petersburg is just up ahead, and it looks like there's only one police station there. The crime rate must be pretty good, or their taxes are just really low and they can't afford more police. Oh, finally, the other police station, or the only police station in St. Petersburg, guarded by a spitter. Let's hope he doesn't mind some, uh, <laughs> some search and rescue efforts. Uh, that'd be kind of ironic. But there we go. So we've hit up the police station in St. Petersburg, and now we just have the two little podunk towns, as I'm going to refer to them from here on out, that we need to visit. And uh, I guess they're big. They can't be too podunk, right? They're big enough to have police stations. So we'll go to there. We'll get that done. And then we will swim out to the Liberator. Now, I understand that we don't have to swim to the Liberator. But the thing is, I, I don't know. I don't know where to find a boat. Uh, let's zoom out real quick. The Liberator's here, and there are some, there's a camp out here. I think the lighthouse is, is close by. There's this harbor, and I, I would guess, I would assume that a boat would live here at, and spawn there. We could just take the boat all the way over, but because the Liberator has this massive safe zone around it, and we're going to be, like, right here, there's really no point in going that direction. Other than that, I don't know where another dock would be. I'm sure there are more. But I just find it easier to swim, to be honest with you. Uh, it's a, it's cold for a minute, and then we're, we're shrouded in the, the warm water that surrounds the Liberator. I think the way they do that is they just uh, they dump their septic straight into the ocean, which would, I guess, in theory, keep it warm, depending on how fresh the septic is. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, it's it works. That's all I know. I'm not freezing. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, yeah, we just do some laundry. There's a laundromat somewhere here in town. I was I was passing it just a little while ago, but or not. I don't know. Just shred the clothes, find some new ones. I, I could use some bandages. Some uh, some poop band-aids, right? All right, I'll stop. We're coming up on our first podunk town here, and uh, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that this street running through town is surrounded by riffraff. So let us not just drive our giant diesel engine through there, alerting everyone in town. And let's just quietly stroll on in here and put our sign on the police station and uh, and then run with our tail tucked between our legs. Get out of here. There we go. What is that? Eh, I don't need that. So the police station looks to be up ahead. Shouldn't be a problem. It's actually pretty well guarded. I'll say this. The, the two towns, Moscow and St. Petersburg, don't have this kind of zombie density in them. I, I would like to think that this is actually similar to the same amount of zombies, but just in a, a smaller space. So it makes it, feels like, it makes it feel like it's a lot more dense and uh, more challenging to navigate and loot. I'm not here to, uh, to loot too much, so we don't have to kill all of these. But we definitely need to uh, make our, fight our way to the police station. And these runners are so easily alerted. I really need to upgrade my sneaking skill. Uh, I'm getting a lot of XP, so I should be able to do that here in a second. Oh, boy. Who else? Who else? Oh! Jeez. Uh, okay, let me just do this real quick because it's going to just make me dead and dead and dead over and over. Are these pants? I'll take some pants. I could use some bandages, as you know. We'll walk around here, and there it is. Plaster sign on the wall. I really want to check to see if there's, like, guns or anything, but I guess the last thing I really need to be doing is... Popping off rounds. <laughs> okay, one more to go, and it's all the way over here. It's actually probably not a very long drive on the highway. Russia may be a big map, but for all intents and purposes, it's still pretty small. It's, it's easy to get around compared to, uh, I don't know, other games with maps and driving. Man, these places are trashed. Well, look at all this. What a mess. I've never seen spider... Is this like a, a chalk outline of where a spider web used to be? And it's like a crime scene? <laughs> I've never seen spider webs on the ground like that. Can we just chop these away? Oh, we can. <laughs> That's cool. 
All right, well, let's get out of here. I want to say we're here. Uh, I'm a little bit confused, though. Let me look at the map again. I got to zoom in on this. Let's see. So that's not... Can we zoom in more? Thank you. Hmm. So it looks like we're here. This must be the town. The label for the town is slightly south of it. So I was, like, looking at these. I'm like, those aren't roads. Those are railroad tracks. Am I supposed to drive on those? But no, we're, we're probably here. It's, it's all good. So the police station shouldn't hopefully be too far. Uh, but we'll see. These, are, these towns are pretty condensed. What is this? Just a boulder? Okay. What is this? Could this be the police station? It's just a big white building. Hmm. Nope, a cafe. Do we have any food in here? We have people who once made food. Okay, I'm alerting everybody swinging around like that. Get out of here. I'll take that. Whoa! Oh, okay. Completely ridiculous. <sighs> My radiation is not doing well. Me, oh, do I have any more lettuce? I thought I had some lettuce. I do. I just didn't hotkey it. I thought I hotkeyed this. Okay. Get out of the inventory. Chomp on some lettuce. Unless this alerts the whole freaking town. All right. So I'm not sure we're going to be dining at this cafe. Let's see. Candy bar. Uh, I just ate a bunch of my lettuce, but I'll, I'll take a candy bar. Some money. Okay. No, this is no help to us. I what I really need is some medicine. That would be awesome. I wonder if this town is a pharmacy, or if they have to commute for those kinds of needs. Uh, aha! Police station. Equipped with a police car and everything. Let's try to sneak over there. I'm not doing too hot. I, I could really use some, uh, some medication, so I don't want to fight too many more zombies. Once again, it's rather heavily guarded. Whew. What happened to your legs? Ooh, I almost feel bad. All right, there we go. Got his ammo box, which I'm not, I'm never going to use. And I think I need to kill this one first. I may not even need to kill anymore. We'll, we'll take this one out. Get out of here. And then we're just going to plaster our last sign up. There it is. Perfect. Okay. Now, before we go back to the Liberator, there is one more thing I need to worry about. And that is my other quest that I forgot about the last time. Uh, Mojo was getting me all worked up about Natalie and everything else, but I forgot to bring her her supplies. So, it looks like if I just manage to get myself a bunch of metal scrap, I'll be good. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of poke around here for a little more metal and see if we can't complete this quest uh, on the way back to the Liberator, so we can just get, you know, maximize our, our efforts here, get as much done as possible. Just a quick run through this house, and I managed to find enough stuff to scrap uh, for the three metal bars. I made a wire with those, and I made three more metal bars and two sheets. Easy, easy, easy. So, good. That quest was not hard at all. Unfortunately, there wasn't really anything on the Liberator we could pick up or scrap, if I recall correctly, so it really needed to be here or nowhere that we uh, got that done. Of course, I could have tried to go mining or head back to base and see if there was stuff, but uh, yeah, it's nice to have this done on the way there anyway. Uh, I think one of the things in this game, especially one of the best things you can do for getting quests done in this game is to take as many as you can. And uh, the first, the very first time I saw the questing system, I actually did that, but I was, <laughs> I was just messing around on a server with a friend and uh, I had no intention of completing those quests and they were way out of my skill level. Like it was like, oh, go find uh, a, this zombie boss, like a mega electric mega or whatever and kill him, no problem, right? <laughs> So that didn't work out, but uh, I do think that is the way to go about this, if possible. So, I might be wrong. I thought these were railroad tracks, but these actually look like little county roads. I, I think what we're going to do, let's go straight for a minute. And then we'll just try to take our next right. Is that this? Yeah, that's this. Okay, so we'll go here. There are, ra there are railroad tracks. I wasn't wrong about that. So here are those, and then we're going to head down... Oh, and we wanted to actually go this way because there's a bridge. Oh, these are railroad tracks. I'm going to take them. I don't care. <laughs> I, I'm taking the shortcut. I don't know why. Who's, who cares? It's the zombie apocalypse. There's no one using the railroad tracks anyway. I mean, why let them go to waste, right? Now, this junction to our right is a great place to find all kinds of construction gear. Perhaps generators, things of that nature. I'm just going to blow past that. We we have other goals and things we're worried about right now. That, that was dumb. 
There we go. And if we look at our map, we just need to keep going south. I've been here before and cross a couple of bridges. And then we go swimming. We'll park in my favorite spot. And, uh, and now we head over there. So the Liberator's straight ahead. It's somewhere. Oh, I kind of see it. I don't know if you can see it. I can kind of see it. My eyes are still good. <laughs> so we're going to swim over here. And uh, so we got to meet up with Natalie and get her this quest. And I don't know if she'll have anything else for me. I hope she doesn't. Mojo seems to be getting a little bit jealous of Natalie. Uh, I think we should probably stop seeing her. Uh, which is kind of... It, it sucks. Her and I go way back, and it's going to be a little bit tough. Uh, I may need to even delete her on Facebook. I don't know. Um, people tend to notice when you do that. So I, I just don't want to do that and then have that awkward, like... Oh, Natalie added you as a friend happen. Because then I have to ignore that, too. And then she'll, she'll get the hint. I don't want to hurt her feelings. So... I don't know. Maybe maybe if I just don't talk about Natalie for a while, Mojo might just kind of forget she's around and we cannot have any more awkward situations. All right, here we are at the Liberator. We'll come up here and uh, Natalie is down this way. So let's get this quest done first. The, the sooner we rip this band-aid off, the better. And I love how they just let me in here. I could be anybody, you guys. Just <laughs> remind me never to join your ranks. I know I already kind of been forced in. Hey, Natalie. Here you go. Everything you need to repair the engine. Thanks. I'll get to work on that engine as soon as I get the chance. I don't I don't care. I'm not your boss. Do whatever you want, Natalie. Just whatever. Don't mind the broken leg symbol in the corner. Nothing happened while while you were gone. Don't worry. Uh so we want to talk to the first mate here. He's been giving us all our quests. Anything to report? I plastered up up the posters. We get 75 experience and plus 5 to our reputation. Thank you. We'll keep an eye out for survivors trying to get aboard. So that's it. That's all he had for me. Those two things. If I click on him again, nothing nothing to report. That was it. So the captain, what about you? By all accounts, you've shown yourself uh, to the embodiment of what we look for in I, I, Ensign? I, I don't know what that means. That rank. I can never read this. I'm just going to stop trying to uh, skip past that one. I can't read it. Don't know. I've never heard that word out loud. Uh, the rank is yours if you want it. I'm ready to serve. And there's an achievement. Sweet! All right. And I get fatigues? Really? What ranks are there? Can I get a replacement uniform? Nothing to report. Uh, did I just get that? I did. Look at that. And they even store, like, the same amount of, uh... Oh, wait. Do they have the same amount of storage space? Hold on a second. Let me put my cargo pan... Oh, man! I lose all kinds of storage space with this garbage on. I guess, I don't know. I'll keep it on for now out of respect. I don't want to upset them. But, uh... I... This stuff sucks, dude. You can't even give me something with... Ugh. I tried to punch him. It wouldn't let me. Okay, so we could take more quests. Uh, I, I'll look around. I'll see if there's any more quests I can conceivably do. But... I don't know. I kind of got what I wanted. I, I, I earned their respect. You know what I really want to try doing? Let me fly the jet! Hey, hey, do you need any pilots? We do need a pilot for our second jet, but right now we're on emergency fuel. No! Let me fly the jet! I hate this place. This is what I was talking about. This guy wants me to beat a flamethrower boss. Uh, so recently Norbert was helping out on a scavenging mission somewhere when they encountered a gigantic, gigantic fire-breathing zombie. Unfortunately, this means they can't clear it out for supplies until the zombie is slain. A gigantic, fire-breathing zombie. We'll get 20 reputation and 200 experience. So that could go a long way for me and my reputation here on the boat. I'm going to take this, but I'm pretty sure we're not going to do that. Because I have a feeling that's a mega he's talking about. That's not just going to be a, a standard fire-breathing zombie like the ones we're used to, which are none. And this guy, so he is a, a ground pounder boss. We'll take it. I'm only taking these in case we find ourselves with more ammo and we come across it and we're still here in Russia. But I don't think I'll even get to these, so don't get your hopes up. Uh, need any help? Find wedding ring. Ring. Gwen accidentally lost her wedding ring aboard. She'd really appreciate it if you can bring it back uh, to remember her husband by. Uh, no. Well, okay, fine. But I, I don't think I'll find it. Because I don't think I'm staying on the ship very long. What about... Nope, no one in here. 
The fisherman had some weird quest. I don't care. We're, let's just jump back in the water. We we have work to do. I got to meet up with Mojo. I think she's going to be here soon. All right. Well, it's been fun, but uh, I don't know. I don't know about these quests. I know Mojo's going to get here soon, so I'm going to await, await her arrival and uh, surprise her with Gangzi training camp. Uh, I think it'll be fun. I don't know. If you guys want to see how that's all going to go down, please don't forget to check out her video, which is linked right below this one that you're watching right now. And uh, you can see how she fares over there in Gangzi Training Camp. I appreciate you guys checking out the channel, though. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in the next video.